All right, you guys, welcome back to part two of my XOP mini stick build. As you can see, I made quite a few changes, but first, enjoy these pictures of the build itself. Alright y'all, welcome back. I'm super pumped. I got my sticks finally the way I like them and the way they work for me. As you can see, I made quite a few changes. You still see my loops that I made in the previous video. Also, you just saw how they were built and how they were made in the pictures previously showed. Now, if you remember, these locked together like so and come apart. Now, I've got one mounted on the tree already. Got my tape measure. We'll give you guys a few measurements. My uh, Aider of choice and so on and so forth. So as you can see I mounted the Dano double steps. Um, also made quite the change in the length of the sticks itself. Go ahead and give you guys, you've probably seen in the picture but I'll show you again. I got roughly nine inches of step between the bottom and the top. 16 inches of step all together. Okay now you remember, I said you can hook your carabiner into these holes. Now let me get a little close-up picture. These XOP sticks, which I left the bottom, as you can see, they still rotate left to right. Now I didn't care for the top being able to rotate, rotate left to right because when I'm on the tree, I didn't want to have my feet staggered while I was trying to hang my next stick or platform or whatever. So, and the only reason for shortening these sticks was just to make them more packable in my pack. Uh, honestly, these will fit right on top of my fanny pack that I have. So, I can use them both ways. Um, they still weigh the, roughly the same, right at two pounds. I weighed them on a little scale or whatnot, so did not much change in the weight department. And as you can see, I, I hit them with the camo paint. Now, with the camo paint, you can go watch that guy on uh, Aerial Assault, and he'll show you how to do. Uh, camo with a loofah to where you make this little pattern and all that. And he did, uh, I believe it's a Sitka pattern, I can't remember. But anyway, as I said, yeah, if you chose or if you choose to go this route, you want to make these sticks this short, more compatible, more packable, whatever, you're going to need to save the top bolt out of your single step. This bolt that runs through this step, also it has your plastic washers and all, you're going to want to save those too because that's what makes it silent and you don't have metal and metal contact and clinging and whatnot. And you're going to want to save that bolt from your top step because it'll work just perfect for your Dano step and also your standoff. Now if you use the bolt that's underneath it, it'll be too short and if you use any other bolt, you're probably going to end up having to cut it or something because the way these sticks stack, the way they stack, if you have any longer bolt right in there, it's going to affect the way that they stack together. And you won't be able to make them tight and compatible. So, got one stick on the tree. Also, I'll go back over this. Now, I did make a little change of this too because I noticed in the last video I made I had a little clinking noise. So I took my steel cable loop off, put just a little bit of tape around it, crammed it in there tight so there's no rattling, no loose parts, and no extra movements that you don't want. Now, like I said before, I mounted the double steps because I don't like having to guess where my next move is going to be. I don't want to have to be thinking about it. You got too much going on right off the rip to begin with, so that's why I mounted these on here. So. With my steel cable, you could use uh, a small rope if you want to just take that apart, like uh, like your like the material that your bridge is made out of, or whatever. That muddy rope, any kind of 
rope. But the reason why I like the steel cable is because it sticks out firm and you won't have to worry about a folder when you're trying to find it. You just kind of do like that. There you go. Now you got a nice stick mounted on one side. Not going to fall out. And now I come out this stick on this side. It's not going to fall off. So I got both my sticks hanging. They can swing. Whatever. Now my platform. Usually leave on my backpack and I'll be carrying it on my back. I am looking hopefully to get that uh I think I'm gonna check out the XOP Edge. Uh, that new trophy line EDP looks pretty cool too. And there's so many to choose from, it's hard to pick, but I do like the XOP Edge as far as it comes with the little backpack straps and all that so you can make your backpack out of it. So start off with you already got your measurement of your stick. You already got your distance and all that. So, what I'll do is I'll start. I'm going to flip it right here. I took away six inches of step, so that's going to put me right around 78 inches from the ground. So, essentially, you took a two step stick and turned it into a one, two, three, four, five, six step stick with just a little. Uh, Aider that you can buy on Amazon or anywhere else. Um, I'm going to take my safe line. Let's see. Oh. Technical difficulty. Just put that in my pocket. So, I want to give a full demo. I want you to zoom in on this. This is what it would look like with the carabiner going through the XOP uh, step itself. Now you could, if you trust it, use your loop. That's fine. If not, just go back to uh, just go back to your stick. That's the one that's rated for it. It's already been tested and all that. And this is obviously a homemade thing. So you don't want to take any chances. At the end of the day, safety is what's most important. Now, you have to think about how you're going to step up. I usually even skip this top step of this aider because by the time I'm getting right here, I can usually just step up. Now, when I step up on my top, on my double step, I'm going to go ahead and hang my next step. I'll bend down, grab this out of the uh, bottom of the stick and transfer it to the next and go on and so forth. So, we'll do that three times. We'll give you a final measurement. Uh, got a 16 foot tape measure, so hopefully it's long enough. We'll see. So we'll go around the tree. I got my sticks hanging on my saddle. By the way, this is the new Trophy Line Covert. And if you're looking for a tree saddle and you're not sure what to get, if you could try somebody else's, that'd be great. I highly recommend it. I've had the tether, I've had the sit drag, started off with it. So far this has been the nicest one uh, as far as being comfortable. So. You can see I have it hanging on the side. I also have my two leftover straps on my stick, for my stick they come with, right there in my dump house. So I lift up. Also going to demonstrate this today on a hardwood tree. This is an oak instead of a pine tree just to show you how well they bite on different trees. But as you've seen in the last video, if they bit in a pine tree, they'll bite on these for sure. So I'll just take this, dig my toe into the tree, step into, step into, carry your line. There you go. So that's almost seven foot, not quite seven foot now, because if you remember, I cut six inches of tubing off the stick itself. It's a little windy today, so if you hear a little wind noise, I do apologize. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I grab my stick. Grab my next strap.
see already, this is why I chose to mount the double step, because I'm nice and comfy, nice and standing here. Mount my next trip. What you want to try to do, hang your step or your stick above your head. You see, normally, if this was just your average normal stick without doing any mods to it, you're literally hanging it right here. Three sticks is not going to get you anywhere with these, in my opinion, but that's just to show. So, I've got my stick mounted to the tree. What I do is I slack off my safe line, step back down real quick. Reach down here, just grab my four step aider, go ahead and clip it into the next one. Now I did that nice and easy and cuff. Probably a little better than I do. You can find your foot, find your aider. Just like that. Just like that. I'm two sticks high. Now realistically, this is almost hunting height. I'd be fine hunting this high. And I'm two sticks high with just a little aider I can keep in my pocket. Full backpack or whatever. So I'll go ahead and grab my next stick. Grab my next strap. While I'm thinking about it, and you guys are watching this video, if you got a way you like to wrap these straps around these sticks, if you have these already, or them, uh, or the Novik sticks that are pretty much the same thing, comment down below. Let me know how you're doing it. I like to see how you're doing it. Tight. Pull down and let them dig in the tree. Once they dig in the tree, these guys ain't going nowhere. Same thing. Slack off my lineman roof. Like so. I just want to hold that one. This is a little too hot. Cool thing is you can kind of move that aider where it's comfortable for you to grab. Three sticks high, a simple little clip on hater. I'm pretty tall. Let's see. Now I can go ahead and hang my platform on wherever I like to on the tree. And this brings up another good point about mounting these Dano double steps on the top. 
you know, if I had a single step on the top, depending on which way I would like to hang my platform, when I get up to the top, I'm going to have to kind of think about where I'm going to hang it. Because, let's just say this is where it was, I had a single step on the right, it would kind of be uncomfortable to be standing up here with your normal length steps on the top right step and say you wanted your platform on the right, it's going to be a weird transition to transition from the top to the, to the platform. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done, so do not misconstrue that. However, to me, this just seems more comfortable and feasible to do. But I can do this right here. Hang it. I can step off either direction, and I don't have to think about it. So, see if I can't run this out. I was actually wrong. This is my 25 tape. Alright, let's see if I can get it to touch the ground. Alright, there you have it. To the bottom steps is roughly 18 foot, probably 7 inches. So, head height, I'm looking at, you know, right at 24, hanging my bag, bow and all that does. So, there you go. Three sticks, simple little aider you clip on, you just have to move it with you, and you're good to go. Let's see if I can see that second step. Second step, or stick, looks about to be like 14 foot, almost 14 foot. From here, so. Shout out to Craftsman for the 25 foot tape measure. Come on. Yeah. Basically, there you go. Now I'm just going to repeat this process simply in reverse. So I'll come down, find my bottom step. You can just kind of look for your aider like so. Pull it out from the tree, get it in the, the arc of your foot. You got toe in the feet, then you're into the tree. You can just kind of look for it. I'm kind of doing this in slow motion just so you can see what I'm doing. Just kind of move it. This is why I like the side by side off versus the ladder because you can kind of move it the way you want it instead of it kicking out on it. At this point I can go ahead and move my aider real quick or I can just clip it on the side temporarily while I hang my stick back on my saddle put my stripe back up. So that's probably what I'll do. I've decided which way I like better but it really don't matter. So, got my stick, got my carabiner, I'm hanging on my loop. And you kind of just, kind of just can uh, mash this strap down if you want, or just pile up in here. I'm in no hurry, so that's why I kind of just took the time to roll it up. Alright, so same thing. Come off. I'll go ahead and reach around here. Hang my aider. Look for it. Dig it into the tree. Same thing, you can look for it, take your time coming down. Remember, this is not a race, you want to be safe. Boom. Just like that.
you see, carabiner, stick, hanging, not worried about falling, just another little piece of mine you got. Right here in my dump pouch. Like I said, if you guys know a way to wrap these straps around a stick and pack them, I surely would like to know. So comment below. And let me know how you're doing it. Might, might change your mind around doing that as well. Same thing, one last time. Try to kneel down right here. Grab your stick. Wrong foot. Grab your anchor, give your toe into the tree. One more time. Give your toe into the tree. And get down. And there you have it. Alright, guys, there you have it. Three sticks. My choice of aider got me 18 foot up in the tree, which is plenty high. To be honest with you, like I said before, I could probably get by with two sticks doing this with that method. Now, if you didn't have any kind of aider for these mini sticks, you're probably not going to get too far and you're probably not going to be too happy with them. That's it with the gear. Thank you for watching part two of the XOP mini conversion I made. Uh, turkey season starts next week. Got my boy go put me on some turkeys hopefully. I'm hoping to smack one down with the bow. If not, I'll have to pull the old smoke stick out and give that a go. But anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Keep up with the channel. Until the next video, see you guys later.